It started with a seismic pronouncement that would reverberate across continents and alter the path of a whole nation's history rather than an earthquake. Beneath Mindanao, the Philippines have found one of the biggest and easiest to reach rare earth deposits in the world, an unexpected discovery that had the potential to change the course of the country. With a resource more important than oil for the modern world, the nation was suddenly thrown into the spotlight on a worldwide scale. A treasure that might power satellites and iPhones alike. Government hotlines rang, stock markets jumped, and headlines were dominated by the Mindanao revelation. Investors hurried, and regular Filipinos observed as the name of their nation spread over the world. The Philippines had been a developing country for many years. It now contained the secret to power and technology in the future. There was exhilaration and uncertainty as a result of the global attention. Jobs, industries and a new era of Filipino influence were all promised by the finding. Families had high hopes for better life and a more promising future. However, caution dampened hope. There were lingering memories of failed resource booms in the past. Many pondered whether history would repeat itself as they recalled the wounds that had been left behind. The specter of extensive mining contrasted sharply with the country's biodiversity and natural beauty. The difficulty was obvious. How to strike a balance between preservation and progress? Could this be the nation's much needed respite? Or would it make the same blunders as before? The argument raged in government halls, schools and families. The Philippines was the center of attention, but the true question was whether this riches would be a boon or a bane. Never before had the stakes been so high. The response would determine the future of the country and open a new chapter in Philippine history that is full of challenge, optimism and the possibility of change. Elements of the rare earth aren't really rare. Contrary to what their name implies, however, locating them in low numbers is like trying to find colored stones on an infinite beach. It's feasible, but very difficult and time consuming. These elements have 17 names, including yttrium, neodymium and dysprosium. Each is essential to the structure of contemporary technology. They make our daily lives more efficient and connected by powering everything from wind turbines and cutting edge medical equipment to cell phones and electric cars. These elements must be extracted using a complicated and dangerous method that frequently produces radioactive waste and harmful compounds. The rare earth sector has struggled for decades with managing this hazardous waste, which is still a significant environmental concern. Our digital world would come to a complete stop without rare earths. No high-speed connectivity, no computers and no sophisticated gadgets. They silently power the technology we use on a daily basis and are found in the screens we touch, the motors that move us and the networks that connect us. They are a geopolitical hotspot that affects trade and international relations because of their crucial significance and the environmental concerns associated with extraction. Possessing rare earths gives one influence over the most developed economies on the planet, influencing future global innovation and industry. China has possessed that power for many years. However, the recent finding in the Philippines has the potential to alter the game's rules and tip the scales. As countries compete for their share of these essential resources, the stakes are higher than ever. China has had a strong hold on the rare earth sector for more than 30 years, spending billions on mining and refining projects. The nation prioritized domination over ecological considerations, accepting pollution and environmental costs that many other countries would simply not endure. China accounted for over 95% of the world's rare earth production by the early 2000s, a strategic advantage that sent shockwaves through all of the world's main technology supply chains. China demonstrated its economic might in 2010 by suddenly stopping its exports of rare earths to Japan, which sent shockwaves through sectors around the world that depend on these vital resources. While other countries frantically searched for alternatives, China's established infrastructure, efficiency and sheer size were just unrivaled at the time. This one brittle supply chain was the foundation for every smartphone, electric vehicle, wind turbine and even cutting-edge fighter jet, leaving the entire globe open to disruption. The Philippine discovery now offers a ray of hope for diversification as it is the first significant threat to China's almost complete monopoly. 
Because of Mindanao's enormous deposits, the multipolar market may become more balanced, offering the US, EU, Japan, and other countries a real opportunity to diversify their supply chains. As nations scramble to find new partners and suppliers, the global power structure is suddenly in jeopardy. The Philippines now has a strong hand that might change alliances and rearrange the geopolitical landscape. With headlines and pundits speculating on what would happen next, the entire world is closely following Manila's next move. The rules of the rare earth game are always being revised due to changes in the game itself. Never before have the stakes been so high, and they are now genuinely worldwide. A wonder of rare earth engineering is your smartphone. These components are necessary for polished glass, bright screens and tiny magnets. The unseen engine driving green energy which powers electric cars and wind turbines is rare earths. They are also essential to national security because they are found in radar, rockets and cutting edge military equipment. Modern life and defense would come to a standstill without them. The Philippine discovery is relevant in both war rooms and boardrooms. Control over these factors translates into control over the military, economy and environment. Global leaders have been concerned about China's monopoly for a long time. Mindanao now presents an opportunity to release that grip. The Philippines is situated at the nexus of security, energy and technology. The choices taken here will have an impact on the entire world. The mountains of Mindanao are rewriting the future of the globe. The revelation from the government was startling. The rare earth reserves in Mindanao may be on par with those in China. Heavy rare earths, which are essential for green energy and high-tech magnets, are abundant in these deposits. The world responded immediately. Global markets soared and embassies were inundated with calls. Governments and IT behemoths rushed to evaluate the effect on their supply networks. The Philippines emerged as the new hub for advanced technologies. Excitement surged at home. The air was filled with hopes of wealth as mining stocks surged. The GDP might double, according to economists, which would finance social programs and infrastructure. However, the difficulty was increased by Mindanao's history of conflict and territorial conflicts. Depending on how it is handled, the prospect of money could bring people together or drive them apart. The administration must perform a careful balancing act social stability versus economic opportunity. Millions of people view the rare earth discovery as a chance for change and the realization of their dream of a modern wealthy country. They promise chances domestically rather than overseas, world-class infrastructure and new jobs. Mining and processing have the potential to generate a surge of auxiliary industries and thousands of skilled employment. However, the vision is more profound. Filipinos aspire to establish their own manufacturing and technology industries and advance up the value chain. Made in the Philippines has the potential to become a globally recognized symbol of innovation. This goes beyond a growth in resources. It's an attempt at self-determination and national pride. The task to guarantee that the riches benefits everyone, not just a select few, is as genuine as the hope. If handled properly, the Filipino dream is achievable. Anxiety is deeply ingrained alongside hope. Rooted in the traumatic mining past of the nation, the national memory is haunted by tragedies like the Marapa disaster, which erodes confidence in claims of ethical mining. Even more hazardous is the extraction of rare earths, endangering both indigenous lands and ecosystems. The biodiversity and cultural legacy of the archipelago are in jeopardy. Some advocate for community consent and stringent controls. Others caution about passing up a trillion dollar chance. The argument between preservation and progress is intense. The historical lesson is evident. Seldom is the environment repaired once it has been damaged. The Philippines must decide between a future that respects people and the environment and wealth at all costs. A new international competition has focused on the Philippines as a result of the rare earth discovery. The US provides green technologies and investment. The EU pledges sustainable relationships and ties investment to stringent social and environmental norms in an effort to loosen its hold on China. China, the old master, is swift, experienced and has strong commercial connections. With its newfound power, Manila can now negotiate the best price by playing suitors off one another. However, potential also brings pressure 
because every choice will be closely examined globally. The national interest, sustainability and sovereignty must all be balanced by the government. Every action is being observed by the globe. The Philippines is where the next chapter of the rare earth saga will be written. The promise of affluence and the wisdom of caution are at odds in the Philippines. One route leads to wealth, contemporary cities and international clout. The other warns of lost cultural and environmental destruction. The difficulty lies in creating a third path that is ambitious, just and sustainable. This calls for strict legislation, openness and guaranteeing that local populations profit as well. The minerals can be unlocked by global money and technology. However, their legacy is up to the Filipino people alone. Will this be another narrative of caution or one of mutual prosperity? The solution is found in the nation's decisions as much as in the earth. The Philippines' future is just waiting to be prudently awakened.